Hey guys, Fox Protocol Mining here coming at you from the Fox Den with another Rave OS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the custom mining tab in Rave OS. So, under the custom mining tab, you have coins, pools, and miners. Now, unless you're looking at a brand new algorithm, you shouldn't need to add anything to the miners tab just for the simple fact of pretty much every miner in existence is already on Rave. Uh, your pools tab is, let's say that you found a brand new startup or an existing project with a new pool, or you want to mine your own pool, uh, you're gonna, that's, this is where you'll add it if you don't find it already on Rave. And let's say, once again, you found that new project and it's not on Rave. So you're going to want to add it under the coin tab. And adding a new coin is actually really simple. Just hit the add button. It's going to ask you for the full name of the coin, so Fox 10 coin. That doesn't really exist, but we're just going to type it in here. Short name, FDC for Fox Den coin. And then it wants to know the algorithm of your coin. And you can select that from the list, unless it's a brand new algorithm, which is unlikely. It should be on this list. And then you'll hit save, and it will add it to the Rave OS database, which means every user in Rave will have access to that new coin. Uh, quick question for most people is going to be maybe I found the coin I'm not 100% sure what algorithm the coin is so we want to double check that so you want to come to miningpoolstats.stream link will be down below and you want to search for your coin once you find the coin I'll use Ethereum as an example here the algorithm is going to be listed directly underneath the coin. And let's say maybe you're bored one day and you just want to go looking for different algorithms and different coins. Uh, it actually breaks it down by algorithm. So if you want to click on Equihash, it'll give you all the Equihash projects and, you know, etc, etc. Uh, for the sake of this video, we are actually going to do an S-hash project called Callisto because I'm going to add a pool to Callisto. So this coin's obviously already on Rave, but a couple of the pools are not. So I'm going to use this as, as an, uh, a teaching opportunity here. Now, if the pool you're looking for is not listed here, that's not a deal breaker. Uh, as long as you can, as long as you know the URL for the pool, or you know the port numbers, and you know you maybe you're running your own pool, as long as you have all that information, you can still set this up. It doesn't have to be on this list. This list just makes it easier to keep track of things, and you know a little bit more friendly with the information. Last time it found a block, its hash rate, how many miners, minimum pay, uh, fees, and how it pays. You know this is all really important information. But for this video, we're going to use Akita Pool here. So when you click on it, it's going to take you to Akita Pool. Uh, Akita Pool has the information that we're going to need right here on the home page. Uh, depending on your pool, uh, that information might be under a tab to the side, like a uh, guide tab or a how to mine tab or something like that. But when you click on it, you should get information that looks similar to this. Uh, most importantly, a stratum or SSL with the Akita pool or the name of your pool and a port number. Uh, majority of pools are going to have multiple ports and that's fine. Uh, they'll have multiple ports either for location like Europe, Asia, North America, or they'll have ports for difficulty like low difficulty, medium, high, or nice hash rental. Uh, but we're just going to copy this information here because you're going to need that. Uh, and then this is important too, where you see eWall user and worker because this pool requi requires a wallet address and the name of your rig in order to recognize who you are and to find you on the pool. So we're going to go back to Rave, we're going to go to pools, and we're going to go to add. So at the top, this is going to be the name that everybody sees when you add this pool. So make sure it's accurate. So this is Akita Pool. 
So we're going to add that. Uh, this is what trips most people up in this process, is it asks for templates. Now these templates vary by pool because not all pools are created equal. And as you can see here, this says eWall and user worker. That template, I would say, is the most common, which is why I picked this. So most of the time this is all it's going to ask for. Uh, only exception to that being like a privacy coin or something like that. But for most pools on most algorithms, it's just going to ask you for the eWall and the user worker. So we're just going to do that. So in your template, I've already got this filled out, but it's going to be percentage, eWall, all caps, percentage. There's a period there which separates this. Percentage, rig name, underscore, percentage. So that's like a start stop for the template is that percent there. And then the period separates them. So that tells this that the pool uses an, your wallet address and then the name of your worker. Uh, it also wants a URL template, which is really simple. You just type in the start, which is the percentage, URL, and then percentage again, which is the stop. And that gets you past the hard part. Uh, this won't work 100% of the time, because like I said, depending on how the pool's set up, uh, this might be different. But I would say nine times out of 10, this will work. This will be all that you need to get the pool to recognize. Now you have these four other drop-down menus here. Uh, type of authorization. Most pools only ask for your wallet to be used, but if it's a pool that requires registration, uh, pools like F2 Pool and things like that, uh, those should already be in Rave, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. But like if you have to log in with an email address or a login and password, that might be required. But like I said, majority of the time, just a wallet so you can just get away with putting in your wallet there. Uh, the coin that you put in or the coin that you're mining type it in and that'll lock that coin in for you. Your pool mode I usually just stick with the default for connection and pool modes. Uh, in very rare cases this might be different but again this is for the majority of use cases so just default. Now it wants the URL so I'm going to paste what I copied earlier, which was this right here, your stratum.akitapool.com with the port number. You want all that. Just make sure you don't copy anything in front of it. Just start with the stratum. Uh, it might not say stratum. It might be like SSL and some jargon and then the name of the pool. Just whatever address is there, copy it and paste it here. Uh, if you have multiple ports, I would just go ahead and copy them all in here and then you know label this little box over here is for labeling so like if it's a USA port you can type USA or something like there but that should end up being in the address anyway so you don't have to do that oops but the the difference in ports is usually country of origin so you might have different port numbers for North America Europe Asia or some pools will do different ports for difficulty, so low difficulty, medium difficulty, high difficulty, and then hash rate rentals. Uh, this looks like static difficulty, so it's only a single port. So we're going to save that now. And then it'll look like this, which means that you've successfully added it. So now when you go to your wallet and you go to add wallet, we're gonna do, you can name your wallets whatever you want. But we'll just, I probably spelled that wrong, but we're just gonna hit add for the sake of things. Add a coin, Callisto. Now Callisto, like I said, has multiple pools on it. And this is Rave, so your two minor pools are always free. Everything else is $2 a month. So you're looking through, looking through a key to pool. It's not alphabetical, it's when the pool was added. So yours should generally be at the bottom of the list because, you know, either there's only going to be a single pool if this is the first time the coin's been added, or your pool will go straight to the bottom. And then that stratum that you posted earlier will be there. It's going to want your wallet address. Oh! 
I don't care if these wallet addresses are public, by the way. Uh, I, you know, if you're looking out for me, I appreciate that. But these are just my one-time use, just for videos, so they don't ever have anything in them. So, Callisto, and then your miners. Which, if you watched the previous video, uh, if you're using Nvidia, you want to use an Nvidia miner like T-Rex. If you're using AMD cards, Team Red Miner is always good. And again, if you're using a mixed rig, you want Phoenix or LOL Miner. Uh, I usually default to LOL Miner. I'm going to save. So now we have that wallet with the new pool. And we'll go to our dashboard. Come in here and go to Mining, Foxden. We're going to switch to the Callisto wallet. Callisto, select Miner, apply to all. And we'll go back to the dashboard and we'll sit and wait for a second to give that time to download the new miner. And basically what we're doing now is, you know, anytime you add it, obviously you're going to use it, but you want to test it just to make sure that everything went off without a hitch. Uh, Brave OS takes just a minute to populate. And under your actions, you can actually go into your worker logs here and it will pull up the miner for you and you can see how everything is going. So, and we are finding shares, which means that everything worked well. Uh, right here where it says connect to pool, if for any reason you're having a problem, you will see it here. It'll say connection to pool timed out, trying again, things like that. Uh, that would mean that something that you did, you either input wrong or the pool has a different set up than what I just covered. Uh, but like I said, most of the time this is going to be the way to go. And yeah, and then you'll come back here and boom, we are mining on Akita Pool on Callisto. Just like that. Alright guys, uh, that pretty much covers the custom mining tab. Uh, it does have a tab for miners. Realistically, I don't ever see a need for this just because RaveOS pretty much has every miner there is already and people are pretty good about adding the latest versions of the miner to the software. So I wouldn't worry about this part unless you're mining a brand new coin on a brand new algorithm, in which case you would just download the miner, hit add, and then it'll ask you to upload the file. And that's it. That's all you got to do. It's pretty much like adding a new coin. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you have any questions or there's anything that I missed on this, uh, please hit me up in the comments, and I will do my best to answer your questions. So, this is Fox 10 Boys, signing off.